welcome to a new week of virtual preschool. We are so glad that you're here today. While we wait for all of the boys and girls to log in and join us, let's sing a song with Miss Nancy. Let's sing, everybody clap your hands. That's one of my favorites. I'll put it on, will you sing and clap with me? Here it goes. Everybody clap from the seasons. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. And everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. And everybody go peek-a-boo. Everybody go peek-a-boo. Everybody go peek-a-boo. Everybody go peek-a-boo. And everybody go side to side. 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 And everybody go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three, woo! And clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Thank you, Miss Nancy. We love singing your songs together every day. Good morning, friends. Should we wake up Betsy Blackbird? She's been taking a nap all weekend here behind my board, but I know that if we count to three and call to her, she'll come out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Say, Betsy, where are you? I think she's back here. Hello, boys and girls. Good morning, everyone. We're so glad you're here today. We would like to sing good morning to you. Ready? Hello, friends. How are you? Will you sing to Betsy? Hello, Betsy. How are you? And will you sing hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, we're all here together. Yay! Betsy, have you ever been to the zoo? Mm -hmm. Which animals did you see at the zoo? Oh, boys and girls, have you ever been to the zoo? Have you seen any animals there? This week we're going to talk all about different animals. I'm going to lay Betsy down so that she can have a little rest while we chat. I have a silly poem to start off our week this week. Can you tell what's up on my board? It's white and full of water and has some bubbles in it. Can you tell what it is? It's a bathtub. We're going to pretend that some little elephants are taking a bath. I'm going to teach you the poem and you're going to be able to do it with me because it's super fun. So it starts off with just one elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Now you have to tap your knees two times. Knock, knock and clap your hands two times. Splash, splash, 
Come on in. Can you say it with me? Okay, let's count the elephant. One elephant in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Here comes another elephant. There was one and another one joined. How many elephants do we have now? Good, say it. Two elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Who's coming next? It's another elephant. Yes, there were two and one, whoa, one more elephant joined in. How many elephants are in the bathtub now? That guy's way down low, isn't he? All the way in the bubbles. Yes, now there are three elephants. One, two, three. Can you say it with me? Three elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Who's next? It's another elephant. Let's put him right back here behind these elephants. There were three and we added another one. How many elephants are there? One, two, three, four elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. Come on in. Who's coming next? It's another elephant. I think we'll put him right back here behind the others. Will you fit up there, Mr. Elephant? Ooh, that bathtub is really full. We had four and added another elephant. How many are there? Yes, say it with me. Five elephants in the bathtub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash. They all fell in. Oh no, five elephants was too many to fit in the bathtub. They weighed so much that the whole tub fell in. That's silly, isn't it? Five elephants do not fit in that bathtub for sure. Well, boys and girls, we're gonna talk this week about different places where animals live. And the places have a special word. The place where an animal or a plant lives is called its habitat. Can you say habitat? Habitat, yes. A habitat is a place where a plant or an animal lives. Can you say it one more time? Say habitat. Yes, each day we'll talk about a different habitat and we're starting with this one. Have you ever seen a habitat that looks like this? It's got a lot of grass and maybe one or two tall flat trees. This habitat is called a savanna. Can you say that? Savanna. Yes, this habitat is a savanna. And lots of big popular animals live on the savanna. Maybe you've seen a movie about animals that live on a savanna. Have you ever seen a movie like The Lion King? Or what else? Madagascar? Have you seen movies where the animals live on a savanna? Here are some of the animals you might find on a savanna. Let's say them together. Oh, what is that? It's very tall with a long neck. It's a giraffe. Well done. A giraffe lives on the savanna. He might be able to reach these trees, these leaves up in the trees, right? Here's another animal that you can find on a savanna. It's white with black stripes, or black with white stripes. It sort of looks like a horse. Which animal is this? It's a zebra. Yes, the zebra lives on a savanna. Wow, you're good at this. Do you know any other animals that might live on a savanna habitat? How about this one? Ooh, it's an 
elephant. Yes, the elephant lives on a savanna habitat too. We have a giraffe and a zebra and an elephant. Good, do you know any other animals that might live on a savanna? Tell me really loud so I can hear you. Ooh, Hunter knows. You're right, it's a lion. This is the daddy lion. Look at him, he's got a big mane. The lion lives on a savanna too. I like the way you're thinking. So far we have a giraffe and a zebra and an elephant, good, and a lion. You were right, Grady. And there are lots more, but I only have two more pictures, but there are lots of animals, you were right, Landon, that live on the savanna. How about this one? It looks really silly. It's all wrinkled up like an elephant and it has a big pointy horn on its nose. Do you know what this animal is called? Yes, you're right. It's called a rhinoceros. Oh, that's a silly word to say, rhinoceros. You're right, Leighton. Sometimes instead of calling it the whole thing, rhinoceros, we give it a nickname and we just say it's a rhino. Can you say rhino? Yeah, that's the nickname for rhinoceros. And the rhinoceros lives on a savanna and here's another one. You were right, Aiden. Ooh, this guy has to be fast. It looks like a deer with these long squiggly horns at the top. He has to run really fast from the lion. Which animal is this? Do you know? Yes, you're right. It starts with a G. G gazelle. Mm -hmm. There's lots of gazelles and they really have to be super quick so they don't get snatched up by the lions who are looking for a snack. These are just six of lots of different animals that live on a savanna. Can you say savanna? Nice, good job. There are others, you might think of others too. And there are lots of animals that live here. They graze on the grass and there's usually a big watering hole. So when it rains, the water collects and the animals will all go around there to have a drink. We are gonna play a memory game with some animals that live on the savanna. Inside this bag, I have lots of savanna animals. I hope you can help me say them and we'll put them right here on my tray. Are you ready? I think I'll start with the biggest one first. Here it comes. It's a... Good, there's an elephant on the savanna. What else do you think that I have here in this bag? Oh, here's a tall one. Yes, you're right. Oh, you could eat the leaves way up high in the trees. It's a giraffe, well done. So we have a giraffe and an elephant. Which other savanna animals might be here in this bag? Roar. It's the lion. This is a daddy lion. Again, you can tell because of his big mane. So we have a lion and an elephant and a giraffe. And I have three more. Which ones could we pull out? Let's see if you remember the name of this one that I just showed you. Yes, it's kind of like a gazelle. I actually think this might be a, a different kind. We're gonna pretend like it's a gazelle. Mm -hmm. And you're right. It's the one with the black and white stripes. This is a zebra. Good job. And there's one more. It's different than the one I have over on the board. Let's see. Whoa, look at this guy. This isn't a rhino. Over here on the board, we had a rhinoceros. Do you remember with the horn on his nose? This one is different. 
This one does not have a horn on his nose. Do you see that? He likes to lay under the water and just peek his head up so he doesn't get too hot. Do you know what this savanna animal is called? Do you know? You're right, Julian. It's not a rhino because it doesn't have a horn. It's a little different. Sydney knows. It's a Scott knows. Yes, Abel knows. Cooper knows. I hear you, Aiden. It's a hippopotamus. Can you say that silly word? Say hippopotamus. Yes, and it has a nickname too. Like the rhinoceros is called rhino. The hippopotamus is called hippo for short. So we're going to put the hippo on here. Now I have six animals on the tray. Say them with me. Say giraffe. Good. Elephant. Lion. Good. Gazelle. Good. Zebra. Hippo. Yes, you said them all. Now you know the game we're going to play. I'm going to cover up these savanna animals with my bandana and I'll take one away. See if your brain can remember which things are on the tray and try to decide which one is missing. You might have to turn your thinking cap up a little bit. Click, 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 because this is tricky. Can you remember all six things that are on the tray? Okay, here goes. Let's see. One of the animals is missing. Which animal was there but now it's gone. I put it inside my bandana. Do you know which one is missing? Tell me really loud so I can hear you all the way here in Virginia. Y yes, oh, I can hear you. I can hear you. It's the zebra. The zebra was the one that was missing from the tray. Mwah, brain, good thinking. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna cover it up. And let's see, oh, I knocked one down, oh, poor giraffe, <laughs> which animal is missing? And the gazelle too, oh, I knocked them all down. Which one is missing from the tray? We still have the giraffe and the lion and the hippo and the gazelle and the zebra. Which one is missing? It's the big one with the trunk and the big ears. Which one is it? I can hear you, Jules. I can hear you, Ezra. I can hear you, Izzy. I can hear you, Kimber and Dominic and Grayson and Abigail. It was the elephant. Oh, my brain, you're really thinking hard this morning. I am proud of you. Would you like to play again? I heard you, Nadia and Gino. I heard you, Evie. All right, Ariana, I heard you too. And Anaya, I heard you guys. You were all right. You knew it was the elephant. Let's play again. I'm going to cover him up and take one away. Which animal is missing from the tray now? Let's see, there are five on the tray and one in my bandana. Which one could it be? Which one is missing? Tell me really loud so I can hear you. You knew it. I heard you, Olivia. I heard you, Logan and Julian and Jules and Brayden and Scott. I hear you guys. It's the hippo, the hippopotamus. Yes, I took him right off of the tray. You're super good at this. All right, last one. Are you ready? Here it goes. Cover it up. One of the animals is missing from the tray. Which one is missing? Which one did I put in my bandana? The elephant is still there, and the lion, and the gazelle, and the zebra, and the hippo. But one of them is missing. Hmm, which one is missing? Carter knows, and DJ, I hear you, Liliana and Claire. I hear you guys, and Charlotte. I hear you, Easton. <gasps> You were right. It was the giraffe. The giraffe was missing from the tray. Todd, you were right. And Emma and Abel, I hear you, Allie and Evelyn. Nice job. It was the giraffe. Brain, you're so good at memorizing and remembering things. I'm really proud of you. Our story today is about a giraffe. A giraffe named Gerald 
who cannot dance. His legs are too long and clumsy. This book is by an author called Giles Andreas. It's called Giraffes Can't Dance. Do you see Gerald trying to dance in this picture? He feels sad because he wishes he could dance like some of the other animals. Let's read and find out if Gerald learns how to dance or not. There's the title page. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre. That's the author. And the illustrator is Guy Parker Rees. He's the one who drew the pictures. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Do you see them there on the savanna? That tree looks just like the tree I showed you in my picture, doesn't it? He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Poor Gerald, he's clumsy. Do you see him falling down? Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Look, he feels really sad seeing all the other animals getting ready for the dance. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Oh, the other animals on the savanna are not being kind to him, are they? I think that will make him feel terrible. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted on the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Poor Gerald, that was not very nice of the animals to tease him like that, was it? Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket. Do you see the little cricket on the leaf? Who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. He just needed a different song to dance to, I think. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. That's the same picture from the cover, isn't it? Where he's doing this big leap. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. 
Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald is the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Yes, Gerald just needed to find the right song to dance to. Maybe when the video is over today, you could find some songs that you would like to dance to. You could pretend to be Gerald the Giraffe and dance around to your favorite songs. Well, boys and girls, it's just about time for us to say goodbye. I have a great idea for you to do something at home. I'm going to put my chair down here so I can show you what it is. Today, after virtual preschool, I wonder if you could pretend to go on a safari. Let's see if my hat will stay on. Maybe. <laughs> so what we can do, since we can't really visit the zoo or really go on a safari today, there are lots of zoos that have cameras that watch the animals. So you can watch the webcam and pretend that you are at the zoo watching the animals. And what I have for you in the packet today is a zoo cam observation notes. So I would like you to pick one of the animals to watch on the webcam, on the zoo cam. You can watch a lion or a giraffe or an elephant. And then your job is to pretend that you are the scientist who's observing the animals. So what you're going to do is observe means watch really carefully with your eyes and think about what they're doing. So I think I'll pick a giraffe like Gerald. So I'm going to circle that I'm going to watch the giraffe. And then down here, I can check off what he's doing. Is the giraffe eating? If I see the giraffe on the camera eating, I'll give it a check mark like this. Maybe the animal is sleeping. Maybe they have some toys and they are playing, or maybe they're just walking around and stretching. So maybe my giraffe is eating and stretching. So I'm going to watch the animals on the zoo cam, and then you can be the scientist who writes down the notes. Over here is a spot for you to draw a picture of what your animal is doing. So that's your project today, to pretend that you are the zookeeper or the scientist who is observing the animals. Observing means watch really closely and take notes about what they're doing. Do you think you can do that? I think that would be a fun thing to do. I would love to see what you noticed about your animals when you watched them on the webcam. Boys and girls, it's time for us to get Betsy back out to sing goodbye. I'm gonna call her one, two, three, and you say, Betsy, come back. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, come back. Here she is. Hello, boys and girls. Thanks for coming to virtual preschool today for Animal Day. That was fun to learn about those big animals on the savannah. But now it's time for us to sing goodbye. Ready? Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Betsy would love a little snack. Do you have any bird seed that you could throw to her? Get it out. Grown-ups, I will leave a link for the um, printable pages up in the video description. Every video comes with an enrichment pack. It has play ideas. There's a link to that zoo cam I was talking about that you can do at home to extend the learning. And it also has four printable pages for your little one to practice writing their name, the zookeeper pages in here, and there are four sheets. They're all free and they're up in the video description. So every video, make sure you check the description for a link to the enrichment play pack.
Are you ready, boys and girls? Betsy's tummy's rumbling. She hopes you have a big handful of, of birdseed today. Ready? One, two, three. Throw it this way. Ah, nom, 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 nom. Oh, oh, there's lots of birdseed today. Thank you for the birdseed, boys and girls. Now Betsy's going to blow you a kiss. If you want to catch it, put your hand out like this. Catch it. Stick it to your cheek. Put a little glue so it stays all day. And give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye, friends.